All right. Um, so in this example, obviously, guys, we can go ahead and you know, if we want to simplify, we want to multiply by the LCD, right? We want to get rid of the denominators. Now, <clears throat> could our LCD be this times this times this? It could. That'd be a really, really messy problem, though, if we had to multiply by three different denominators. If you guys remember, it does happen, right? We did do an example where there was three factors in the LCD. It just makes the problem more and more messy. So is it possible, or would it be preferred, if this could be factorable and share one of those as, a, as its factor? And would it even be ideal if it shared both of them, right? And so let's factor this, and let's use the 4 and the 3. And what do you know? That is the factored form, right? So my LCD in this problem, my least common denominator, is just the product of x plus 4 times x plus 3. So to avoid making the mistake, like some students did by using brackets, I'm just going to write out x plus 4 times x plus 3 times every single expression. It only takes me a little bit more work. But it's easier for me to visualize and see what is being divided out and what is remaining. Here, the x plus 3's are going to divide out. Leave me with 1 times x plus 4, which is just x plus 4. Here, the x plus 4's divide out. Leave me with a negative 2 times x plus 3. Denominator, x plus 4's divide out. x plus 3's divide out. Leave me with the numerator, which is just 3x squared plus 1. Now we just have one big fraction, right? Which is nice. So let's combine like terms, simplify here. Um, you know, let's give negative 2x, that becomes a negative, oh, let's just do it. So it becomes a negative x minus 2. All right, now let's go and look at our excluded values. From the original equation, we know that x cannot equal <coughs> negative 3 and negative 4. And then we say from the simplified equation, we can't make this equal to 0. But does anybody recognize something when this is set equal to 0? What type of solutions we have? Complex. Because if you subtract a th 1, that's a negative, right? Here, I'll just do it because I have time. If you remember, you want to find the values that make the denominator equal to 0. So when you subtract a 1, 3x equals negative 1, divide by 3, divide by 3, you get x squared equals negative 1 third. Well, what happens when you try to take the square root of a negative 1 third? You can't use the real number system anymore, right? You have to use the complex number system. Therefore, you're going to have x equals plus or minus i square root of 1 third. Well, guys, do we need to exclude our complex numbers? No, we just want to exclude our, our real numbers. Right? The real numbers that make the denominator 0. So therefore, we can just ignore that. And we just say the only excluded values would be negative 3 and negative 4. Okay? You guys want to try 2 on your own? Of course you do.